Hey Vintage Kids, my name is Catherine from Vintage Church downtown. I'm so excited to be with you all today. I am here in our classroom at Vintage Church and I cannot wait till we're back all together in this classroom so that we can run around and have fun and read scripture together in person. But today I get to join you virtually and we get to read scripture together that way and learn about it, so I'm very excited. So let's go ahead and jump in. Over the past few weeks, we've been studying a sermon that Jesus gave during his life on earth. It's a sermon called Sermon on the Mount, and it's one of the most famous sermons of all time. And it's a sermon where Jesus taught his followers about important ideas about kingdom life and how we can love one another and show Jesus to one another in grace. Over the last couple of weeks, we've also been reviewing a catechism question, and it's one that you are probably getting pretty familiar with, but it's important, so let's go ahead and review it again. The question is, since we are redeemed by grace alone, through Christ alone, must we still do good works and obey God's word? Well, we want to think about whether our actions in the kingdom are important. We've been learning how Jesus loved us first, and out of response to this love for us, we can love others. So, our catechism question is answered by saying, yes, so that our lives may show love and gratitude to God, and so that by our godly behaviors, others may be one to Christ. So, let's see what Jesus says about the kingdom that might teach us how to show love and gratitude, winning others to Christ. But first, Let's just wiggle for a second, get it all out so that we can focus. So you can wiggle. You can also stand up, but I'm not going to. <laughs> all right, let's jump in to the scripture. All right, you can open the children's Bible or any Bible to Matthew 7, 1 through 5. Matthew 7, 1 through 5 says, Judge not that you be not judged. For when the judgment you put on others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use it will be measured to you. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when there is the log in your own eye. You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. What is this passage saying? What does it mean to judge others? And what does this passage say about judgment? So let's stop and talk about that for a second. So it says first to take the log out of your own eye, then take the speck out of your brother's eye. So it doesn't have to be your real brother, but your brother or sister in Christ. So it doesn't tell you to leave the speck in your brother's eye or let your brother keep sinning. But it does say, take care of your own sin first. So it can be really easy, as I scratch my eyes, or turn my eyes, it can be really easy to look at someone else and say what they are doing is bad. I'm sure you've done it before. You've gone and tattled to your mom or your teacher about something someone bad is doing. And while they shouldn't be doing that, And while you should say to them or others when they are doing something bad, it is important that we look at ourselves first. That way, we don't look like we're ignoring the bad things we do. And so that way, people don't think we're being unfair or 
unreasonable. We want them to know that we can look at the, ourselves and acknowledge the bad things we're doing, but also we want to be able to help them stop sinning. All right, guys. So over this week, before you go and tell your mom about your brother or sister and something bad they did or tattle about a friend, why don't you stop and think about what you did or maybe something that wasn't great that may have caused them to act that way. When we first deal with our own heart, then we can go to others and talk about their hearts so that we do it in a loving and kind way. All right, that is all for today. As always, I'm very excited to be able to spend time with you and really can't wait to see you soon. I hope you all have a wonderful week and get to spend some time with your family talking about judgment and Jesus. All right, have a great day.